Hello, hello, hello. It's Art of Cecilia, Artistic Girl Touch. Thank you so much for coming back on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and watch part one of Elena getting her hair shampooed, conditioned, and detangled. Today, I would like to complete her hairstyle for you all. So, the first thing I did was section her hair from ear to ear. So, now I'm working with a back section. The, this section that I'm parting right here, the bottom is gonna have four braids and the top is gonna have five. So we're gonna give it kind of like a window effect. And each section, since her hair is already wet, I am going to add some type of like curling cream or moisturizing cream to that whole entire section so that when I do braid, I'm not going back and forth with product and building more product on each section. I'm also gonna make sure that I'm oiling her scalp. So between the oil, the cream, and the water, it's gonna help me really move with braiding her hair. My first braid is gonna be on the outside on the left, and then I'm gonna do a braid on the right. And I'm gonna go back and forth. That kind of makes gives me a way of kind of making sure that it's even and that I'm not doing braids right next to each other in the back. It's just something that <laughs> I've always done. So what I actually did was um, I did a twist first because I kind of wanted to show you guys the difference between what a twist and a braid looks like and you'll see that right after this shot. But I did want to kind of zoom in on how I do the um, corn roll, French braid, whatever you want to call it, but it is a two, I mean a three stranded braid and then you have the two stranded braid right next to it. So one thing I always do, and I know I've talked about this before, is making sure that we're always giving our um, our little girls books or something that they can relate to, um, especially if they are brown skinned little girls. Having representation for them is so important. So you saw Elena kind of went through my little book that I have. I have a little book collection at the salon for my little girls and always just encouraging self-esteem in that with them. So going back to her hair again, I'm going to make sure that I put some product on that whole entire section and I'm going to work from my left side into my left and I kind of rounded it off a little bit instead of going straight back. I don't know. That's just something that I've always done. It just kind of creates um, hmm, a, a nice way for the hair to fall when it's down. That's just me, <laughs> but you can part it however you like. And I always like to use like a wire tail comb because it just helps me get a nice crisp parting and making sure that you're also detangling the hair each section should be detangled thoroughly before you uh, braid the hair or twist the hair it's going to help you elongate the hair a lot more you won't get so much shrinkage so it just kind of helps her hair look you know lo long like it is long so when you're not fully detangling it you can kind of clamp up and it just doesn't look right. So just make sure you are fully detangling uh, that section. So again, I'm kind of kind of zoom in a little bit. And I think the point of this one is each section that you pick up, make sure that you are pulling it all the way through to the end because that will continue to help the detangling process for you. So this section again is gonna be complete by just doing it in windows and you're gonna do five braids at the top. You can definitely do smaller braids if you like or even bigger ones, it doesn't matter. But this is just kind of giving you, you know, another idea. And you guys know the reason why I make these videos is because I am a foster mom and uh, this is my way of just helping other fellow foster moms who adopt and foster little girls with textured hair. So yeah, it's just a little ministry that I, that I have going for myself and I just found that it has been very helpful. I've gotten a lot of messages and thank yous and even pictures of their little daughters um, based off of some of the videos that I've done already and even when we talk in person at our classes and stuff and meet up. So yeah, this is the back section and that is complete. So the front section, what you're going to do is you're kind of going to do warrior style braids coming up front or back in my day, we call them the Alicia Keys braids. <laughs> but it's just where you have a braid starting from the crown and coming forward versus starting from uh, the front of her head going back to her crown. So, again, these are just um, parting ideas for you to, you know, give you guys another hairstyle for your little girls. For this hairstyle, we are going to add some beads uh, to the end, and that's going to actually be in part three. 
So again, make sure that you subscribe and you hit that notification button so that you can stay in touch with me as I upload new videos. And I had to really break this video up um, because it was just so much going on. So uh, her beats will be at the end and her mother's uh, thank yous and remarks will be also uh, in that part three video. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. And when you're braiding, make sure you're braiding all the way down to the ends and doing a little twist with your finger and that kind of locks it in if you do not want to use beads at the end or if you have a hair texture that will unravel on you you can put uh the little uh no what do you call those um they're rubber bands but they're like no pull rubber bands in that you could find that at your local uh beauty store or even like a target or a walmart so now that you're at the top of the head you're going to make a, actually you're going to make a center part that is dead center <laughs> And then you're going to part on either side of those parts. And that's how you get this center braid uh, section for yourself. And so that'll kind of help me distinguish the right side and the left side. So we're actually going to do a pattern that is going to be the same on both sides. So you can see how I just kind of you kind of look back and forth and just see, you know, where you think you put the other. And you know what? Note to self, I really do not like doing symmetrical hairstyles. <laughs> Cause I am so OCD, I don't know. But I went ahead and did it because that's what a little Lena wanted and I do anything for the kids. I love the kids so much. So yeah, that is the right side. So we're gonna do the same exact thing on the left side. So you already have your center braid was already done. So you're gonna start at the top right there where the center braid was at and you're gonna work your way all the way around up to the crown since you already have that warrior uh, Alicia Keys braid on the side where her ear is at. So this is the next braid <laughs> again. That makes sense in my mind. I don't know if it makes sense to y'all, but hey, work with me. <laughs> so I had to put a little bit more water on her hair because this was the last section that I did. So it kind of did dry up on me just to teach. And I am going to make sure that I am continuing to uh, detangle each section before I braid it because it just helps the hair slide a lot better as you are braiding and detangling that section. <laughs> I love my comb. I'm so, oh my gosh. I have a lot of OCDs when it comes to hair and some of my older clients, they'll be like, girl, if you don't let it go, let it go and keep braiding. <laughs> but hey, I guess it is a good thing to have a stylist that is a little OCD. You know, I just make sure your lines are crispy, baby. And look, as I go, I gotta make sure that this <laughs> the part is straight because I will, sometimes you will pick up little hairs as you braid. So you do wanna make sure that that comb is a little handy. That way you can kind of get those little hairs out of your way as you're, as you're braiding in that row. So for your braiding pattern right now, it, it, you kind of just go with the flow right here. So your next braid is going to be back up at the top and you're going to do, you're going to basically go back and forth, back and forth, right side, left side, right side, left side, and your sections will get smaller and they will, they will form. You, you will see your section, your next section will form. You will know where you're at and you'll know that your sections are even when you kind of like pull in the middle of the section so you can kind of see like your your width and your depth is the same throughout that part that probably didn't make sense but hey we're gonna roll with it <laughs> i'm gonna try to do this in the salon and actually talk while i'm doing her hair but a lot of times when i'm in the salon you know we got we have the tv on movies on we have there is another stylist um that is also in the same space we share the same space together janelle so she'll have clients so i kind of you know i kind of try to limit the amount of voiceovers inside of the salon just because it's just it just doesn't it just doesn't work <laughs> you guys won't be able to really hear me and um, it's not really accommodating to everybody else in the salon, but you know, hey, work with where, where you are at, amen. Okay, so yeah, like I said, the next section is gonna kinda be like that first one, and you're just gonna go through, 
and you are going to pull the hair apart. It is detangled, so you're just gonna kind of gently just pull the hair apart. And you see how that comb makes a nice uh, crisp line for you. And it's more of a gliding, you know, you're not pressing it into her scalp at all. You're just gliding it along her scalp where you want the parts to go. And then you just pull apart. It's amazing how that works. Yep, and then you just clean it up. So you just round off that little corner. You see how that corner was like a hard corner? Then you just round it off and it should be a nice soft look, yep. So I do know that my footage did kind of cut off at the very end. I don't think that you guys are gonna see me do those last two or three braids right there. But again, it's gonna be a back and forth and just making sure that you are putting a little bit more product on the hair um, and water especially on this last section. I really should just do that for the whole inside entire section. It really does help to just save time a little bit for you. And again, you don't wanna keep like building product up. You don't want too much product on the hair is, is what I'm trying to say. And then you just braid that around. So I think her mom had got back uh, with the beads and then I was just showing her where we were at and we're like just talking about how we're gonna do this. So mom has never put braids on, I mean not braids, but beads on Elena's hair before. So um, we were gonna take the next, <laughs> there she's like, hi mommy. <laughs> we are gonna take um, some time out to really show her how to do this because it's, it's really fun, it's easy. It's something that Elena can help mom do. And Elena has a little sister too, so, um, and it's so funny, her mom did send me a picture like, look, look, look what you've created. <laughs> now she wants beads, so she put the rest of Elena's beads on her hair. And uh, that concludes this part of this video. I think Elena has something to say about Alexa. When you go home, what you gonna do? You gonna tell Alexa to do what? I'm gonna tell Alexa to put, you can't touch this. <laughs> She is so cute. So yes, make sure you subscribe because I want you all to see part three of Elena's hair. There I'm gonna be showing you how we put on her beads and we use teamwork. And I also just want to share a testimonial from her mom. I love Elena. I love you, girl. I love you. <laughs> all right, y'all. Have a good one. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button. Peace.